वन मिनट Once again, we will go back. Uh, fluid flows. Classifications of uh, fluid flows. There is a wide variety, wide variety of uh, fluid flow problems encountered in practice, and it is usually convenient to classify them on the basis of uh, some common characteristics to make it feasible to study them in groups. First criteria. Viscous versus inviscid regions of flow. When two fluid layers move relative to each other, a frictional force develops between them, and the slower layer tries to slow down the faster layer. As we discussing the viscosity, we had considered different layers are flowing over by over. Understand? So, for example, the fluid field is. Classified into two layers. Uh, layer are numbering the layers from bottom to top. So number one, number two, number three, number two. The first layer is very near to the surface and contact with that surface. Second layer is overlap over the first layer. Third layer is lying over the second layer. Fourth layer is lying over the third layer, like that. In these three layers. Each layer experiences the resistance by the adjacent two layers. So each layer tries to reduce the velocity of uh, other layers. Understand? Okay. When two layers move relative to each other, a frictional force develops between them, and the slower layer tries to slow down the faster layer. Similar resistance. Qualified by the fluid property, it is called as viscosity, which is a measure of internal stiffnesses. Uh, this viscosity also creates shear stress, shear stress, and the shear stress is directly proportional to the shear strain. We discussed it in Newton's law of viscosity. Viscosity is caused by coercive forces between the molecules in liquids by molecular collisions in the gases. Versus inviscid region, there is no fluid with the zero viscosity, and this and thus all fluid flows involve viscous effects to some degree. In last videos, we discussed the class five types of fluid: ideal fluid, ideal fluid, Newtonian fluid, non-Newtonian fluid, ideal plastic fluid. Now, what is the fluid? Fluid, a fluid which is viscousless and incompressible. But uh, all the fluids in the universe is having viscosity, so there is a no ideal. That is why there is a no fluid zero viscosity, and thus all the fluids involve viscous effects to some degrees. Flows in which the frictional effects are significant are called as viscous flows. Flows in which we may consider the frictional resistance, then that flow is called as a viscous flows. However, in the many flows of practical interest, there are regions typically regions not close to the solid surface, where viscous forces are negligibly small compared to inertial or fragile forces. Neglecting the viscous terms in such a visit or inviscid flow regions greatly simplifies the analysis without much loss in accuracy. Slide. What we can say: inviscid flows are the flows in which frictional resistance is negligible. In negligible, okay. The fluid flows in which the viscous or the frictional resistance are negligible. Then that is called as inviscid flows. Slide. Here, uh, liquid is flowing. That is called as a free stream. Understand? In this free stream, we place it into two objects. These two are the objects. Once, uh, after placing the two objects in a free stream, the fluid takes two different flow patterns. Two different flow patterns over this. Understand? 
see this is the boundary layer boundary layer the boundary layer is the layer which is formed by the fluid nearer to the boundary of the object solid objects. okay nearer to the boundary of the solid surface understand <coughs> Away from this, the external to this boundary layer, the frictional resistance are negligible or not considerable. Within the boundary layer, boundary layer, there is a viscosity. That is why this flow inside the boundary layer is having viscosity. That is why this is called as fully viscous flow. And uh, away from the or external to this uh, <coughs> boundary layer. There is no friction at all. That is why there is no viscosity. Understand? Sorry, viscous forces are negligible. That is why this flow is called as invisible external flow. This is also invisible external flow. So, uh, here is it? Understand? Therefore, between the layer between these two is the invisible inertia internal flow. Huh? We can take it as invisible internal flow. Here also, the viscous flow effects are negligible. Understand? So the flow with viscosity or frictional resistance is considered. That is called as viscous flow, and uh, the flow in which viscous or resistance is considered uh, sorry negligible. That is called as invisible or invisible. And uh, classification of uh, classification of fluid flow. A fluid flow is classified as being internal or external, depending on whether the fluid is forced to flow in a confined channel or over a surface. A flow of an unbounded fluid over a surface, such as a plate or a wire or a pipe. It is the external flow. <clears throat> Unbounded flow. Flow is flowing over certain objects. That is called as external flow. Understand? Whereas if the flow is uh, uh, flow in a pipe or a duct, is called external flow. Understand? Flow is flowing inside the objects. That is why we are calling them as an internal flow. Water flow in a pipe. For example, internal flow and air flow over a ball or a, any exposed pipe during windy days. That is called as external. Simply, the terms uh, is giving the definition for this. Okay, external flow, internal flow. The fluid flows inside the objects or then that is called as internal flow. The fluid flows. External the objects or over the objects, they, the, the, flow is, the flow is called as a external flow. And come for the next slide. Another classification of fluid flow compressible flow and incompressible flow. A flow is called classified as being compressible and incompressible depending upon the level of variation of density during the flow. Incompressibility is an approximation and a flow is said to be incompressible if the density remains constant without throughout the uh, channel understand the density is uh, constant in a fluid flow then that fluid flow is called as an incompressible fluid flow therefore the value of uh, every portion of fluid remains unchanged or remains constant over the course the question is the flow is the densities of liquids are essentially constant and the flow of liquids typically incompressible therefore liquids are usually referred as incompressible substances that is the thing they not compress the liquid that is why its density will be Remains constant. How the density will remain constant? What is the expression for a density? Density is equal to mass by value. If value remains the same, then the density will also 
say that is all the was is uh, are considered as a incompressible fluid flow next come for the uh, next slide the pressure on the other hand gases highly compressible because gas gas definitely weights uh, volume decreases volume decreases means uh, density increases because density is equal to mass by volume understand okay density is not constant density is not constant because such type of fluids are called as a compressible fluids compressible fluids which density changes density changes okay. a gas flow can uh, often be approximated as incompressible if density changes are under about 5% okay if the density variation is less than 5% the for gases also can consider incompressible density increases greater than 5% uh, greater than 5% then uh, we can uh, call them as చిరా ఇప్పుడు ఆన్లైన్ క్లాస్ జరుగుతుంది ఫోన్ చేయ స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ 100 meters per second we can uh, <coughs> uh, neglect the compressibility effects okay come for the slide what is this uh, criteria compressible and incompressible so below how many classifications we had so four classifications six classifications what is this uh, viscous flow and inviscid flow okay internal flow and external flow compressible flow and incompressible flow and uh, come for the next classification laminar versus turbulent laminar versus turbulent here we are seeing uh in fluid patterns you fluid patterns this is uh, slowly smoothly flowing understand here is a vigorous flow okay, in the third figure third figure or bottom figure it is a vigorous randomly na okay regular uh, fluid but when we once we consider this uh, middle flow middle uh, figure what we can say slowly the fluid is changing its nature from laminar to turbulent or streamlined flow to irregular fluid flow okay if the fluid is having a streamlined flow then that is called as a laminar flow if the fluid is uh, flowing with uh, yeah, random nature irregularity okay then that is called as turbulent if the fluid flow is changing its nature from a laminar to turbulent then that fluid is called as flow is called as transitional fluid flow okay see the definitions some flows are smooth and orderly while other are <coughs> chaotic okay the highly ordered fluid motion is characterized by smooth layers of fluid flow understand it's called laminar laminar flow is a flow which has highly ordered fluid motion 
and the smooth layers of fluid then that is called as laminar flow understand this is a ideally characterized fluid motion smooth layers of fluid fluid okay now, flow of high viscosity fluids such as oils at low velocities is typically laminar okay the flow of high viscosity fluids such as oils at low viscosities is typically laminar highly disordered fluid motion highly disordered fluid motion that typically occurs at the velocities velocities and it is characterized by velocity fluctuations Highly disordered fluid flow is called a turbulent flow. Highly, let us smoothly, fine, orderly, smooth flow is called a laminar. Okay, and uh, cover. Understand? Laminar and turbulent. The flow of low viscosity fluids such as air at high velocities is typically uh, okay the flow that uh, alternates between uh, being laminar and a turbulent is called a translational okay changing its nature from laminar to turbulent is uh, transitional here by without seeing the figures or sketches we can uh, how can we classify so and so fluid is laminar flow and so and so fluid is turbulent flow okay right <coughs> uh, properties velocity okay understand velocity density dynamic viscosity there is a one uh, dimensional less number is called reynolds number reynolds number it is having an expression rho u d by mu r Rho u l by mu. Understand? Magnitudes for density, velocity, and the length of the pipe or length of the diameter, and the dynamic viscosity uh, is in our in our hand. Uh, we can calculate its Reynolds number, and with this Reynolds number, we can say so and so fluid is a uh, laminar fluid flow, and so and so is a uh, turbulent flow. For example, if a fluid is flowing through a pipe, pipe, then uh, the Reynolds number 2300, 2300 is the uh, critical number, critical number. For, uh, okay, if the Reynolds number is less than 2300, that is called as a laminar flow. If Reynolds is uh, in between 2300 and uh, 4000 that is called as a transition and then Reynolds number is greater than 4000 then is called as a key developed turbulent by this uh, we can uh, say so and so fluid is a uh, laminar okay we, we, by seeing the figures or the sketches if the fluid is having finely ordered regular flow then it is called as a laminar the fluid is uh, flowing irregularly, randomly, okay, vigorously, then that flow is called uh, turbulent. If the fluid nature is changing from its uh, laminar nature to turbulent, then that is called as a transitional fluid flow, okay. Uh, whereas, and uh, for the external flows, for external flows, that is uh, uh, flowing for us. For them also, we can get uh, the Reynolds number. Reynolds number is equal to rho u l by mu. Where is the length of the pipe surface? Plates. Okay. Uh, for this, what is the critical Reynolds number? Means 5 into 10 to the power of 5. So, by having the magnitude of the density, velocity, length of the solid surfaces and viscosity. Uh, calculate, calculate that value of 5 into 10 to the power of 5. So the obtained value is less than uh, 5 into 10 to the power of 5. Then the fluid flow is called as a Reynolds, uh, sorry, laminar flow. 
if the fluid flow is uh, in between uh, 5 into 10 to the power of 5 into 10 to the power of 7, uh, that is called as a transitional flow. If the fluid, uh, if the Reynolds number is uh, greater than 10 to the power of 7, then the fluid is, uh, is called as fully developed uh, turbulent flow. So uh, by this, uh, we can say, we can, uh, we have the information. Critical Reynolds numbers for pipes, 2300. And a critical Reynolds number for plates, 5 into 10 to the power of 5. Very important. Okay, next to come for the next classification. Natural. Uh, natural versus forced flow. Okay, the, in uh, other words, natural circulation flow or forced circulation flow, like that we can say. A natural, what is the main, what is meant by natural? A fluid flow is said to be natural or forced, depending upon how the fluid motion is. In forced flow, a fluid is forced to flow over the surface of the pipe by external power, external force, such as a pump or understand by using a uh, pump, secondary pump, or reciprocating pump, they are making the water or liquid to flow very fastly. Understand? Forcefully, they are making the fluid to flow. In such cases, that flow is called as a forced circulation. Natural flow means any fluid motion is due to natural means, such as the buoyancy effects of gravitational. Effect. Okay. Then uh, that is called as a uh, one minute. Good morning, sir. Sir, see you in your class, sir. Sir, sir. Sir. Ah, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, okay, sir. Trip on yes, sir. Deep, sir. Ah, okay, sir. Oh, sir, sir. Oh, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Videos, sir. Sir, videos, you can record the laptop. Lo. Sir, Sorry, was on it, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, Attendance uh, uh, teams view attendance matramo uh, download just pet kuna sir. Galalo system sir na puru maila pet kuna no. Sir abhi. Sir. Hmm. Sorry sir. Sikkana na koi ke. Na kahi the kar video even kanpin chakle sir. Maul ke ne break ke puru class jab to na puru matram hi danta video hosundi. Outer wall wado choose na ro. Store in Santa. Sir, is sir, reposan, sir. Okay, sir. Nina, Nina J, sir, sir. Nina, Nina. Ah, Nina J, sir, sir. Nina J, sir. Ah, this, sir. Nina J, sir. Oh, video scoring, sir. Are you sir? The 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 this can be chosen, sir. Laptop download score can be chosen. 
आणि हिने जो बी चेंज सर चल ओके हां सर हेलो हां राइट इफ फ्लूइड फ्लो इज नेचुरली initiated that means by, by gravitational effects or uh, buoyancy effects flow uh, fluid can also if such uh, fluid flow is uh, uh, happening based on that then we can call them as a natural flow natural flow naturally fluid if it flows then the fluid flow is called natural flow <clears throat> by using any pump or a fan if the flow is flowing fluid is flowing then that is called as a forced flow okay this is the uh, one uh, one more classification next, uh, next classification steady versus unsteady flow okay steady flow and unsteady flow. Mm, the term steady and a uh, uniform or frequently in engineering and thus it is important to have clear understanding of the error meanings the term steady implies no change at a point with the time okay uh, steady means no change in uh, any value at a point understand for example if a fluid velocity is if a fluid velocity is uh, not changing or constant without any time change then that fluid is flow is called as steady flow understand that means uh, if, for example <clears throat> irrespective of the time changes if the fluid is flowing with a constant speed uh, then that is called as a steady flow okay if there is any uh, change in state places with a change in time then that flow is called as unsteady flow next the term uniform implies no change with the location or over a specified region or over a specified period then that is called as a uniform okay for, for example sorry in a simple manner what we can say if the fluid velocity is constant irrespective of the time that is called as steady flow if the fluid velocity changes with respect to the time then that is called as a unsteady flow okay and uniform means if a fluid velocity is uniform over a particular period time period then that is called as uh, uniform flow okay non uniform flow means uh, if a fluid velocity flows or changes <coughs> over a certain period then that is called as a non uniform flow okay non uniform these are the certain uh, uh, types of fluids so before closing the class i say can recall them what are the types of fluid flow first viscid flow sorry viscous flow uh, in viscid flow internal uh, internal flow external flow compressible flow uh, next uh, incompressible flow and uh, laminar flow turbulent flow transitional flow and uh, steady flow unsteady flow uniform flow and uh, non uniform flow okay these are the types of uh, fluid flows uh, by this i am coming to closing the session okay thank you uh, tomorrow we will meet you uh, we will come okay you can leave now Thank you. Thank you.